guys, Adam Fennig here with Fennig Equipment. Today I'm up here near Fort Wayne, Indiana, riding with Brian Solomon. Brian, uh, how's things going up here near Fort Wayne? Good, good. We use a little bit more rain, but uh, with the heat and the sunshine, things are going up nicely. Um, just yep. wish we could get some more rain. Yep, absolutely. Today is, I believe, July 9th. Uh, things up until about a week ago were really good, and then the rain kind of shut off. We're screaming for a little bit right now, but uh, we're up here running a Y-Drop toolbar with 360 Y-Drops and, and the glide system. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your Y-Dropping program and, and how it's changed what you guys do? Uh, I think I started out, uh, it's probably five or six years ago, where we had a pull-behind applicator, and that was uh, we ran, you know, from V3 to V5, that was our program. Well, when they first came out with the Y-Drops, I thought, that's a great idea. Yep. Obviously, um, we weren't ready to, delving, to, uh, ready for a haggy system. And so, what I did was, I, I started out, I took four folders off of our multi valve kit. Okay. And Put them, uh, put Y drops on it. I see. And wow, I was really impressed by the placement. Didn't, I mean, I didn't go on hand harvest anything or, or to verify that. Wow, but you could not see visually any difference. Yep. So, yep. Um, I had been at that time looking for a used haggy to just to put a Y drop. You know, just just to make it so that's all we're going to do is fungicide and Y drop with it. Yep. And by the time I got into that market, all the used, all the good used ones were gone, and they seemed to get uh, awfully overpriced for what they were. So yep. we decided, oh, this is make a wholesale change, and we got rid of our side dress applicator, um, traded the sprayers, and just got went to a haggy. And this is and decide that's how we're putting nitrogen on with Y drops. Nice. So basically, with the Y drops, not only did you favor the placement, but you like the efficiency, probably the acres per day you can cover, and the flexibility in season. Correct? Oh, absolutely. It, 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 don't get me wrong. A wet year, um, it seems like this has been the easiest year to, for us to get everything done because it's been dry. Yep. Um, but there's so much flexibility, and we're still learning what we can do and what we can't do. I had a conversation with my agronomist two days ago. I go, it is not raining. We need to probably think about um, maybe changing our application rates. Um, but we didn't because even though we think it's dry right now, we're not at pollination, and we don't know what that's going to be, and that's going to be two two weeks away. Well, I. We know we need to have the nitrogen, all the all the nitrogen by D10, or we can't get we can't get it in the plant. Correct. So correct. So um, today, you know, Brian's running our our uh, Y drop toolbar. That allows him to be narrow transport up here around Fort Wayne. We run into some narrow roads and a lot of traffic. He can switch back and forth from uh, spray boom to side dress uh, quickly and easily. And he's side he's using Y drops on 80 feet with this machine. You want to briefly talk about what the Y Drop toolbar so far? Granted, it's your first year. Uh, how you feel that's maybe changed your operation? Um, what I, I I saw it on Twitter a year ago. Uh, where did this bar come from? I want one. And through a process, through the so a year later, we we we, we acquired one. Um, idea being because this is the way we manage our nitrogen, and we have the Y Drops on quite a bit in the summer. So, you know, before you guys used Y drops from 360, uh, you were limited to the time frame in which you could put your nitrogen out and you pretty much had to put it all out before it was knee high dang near. Now it, you have the flexibility. Do you make a single pass of Y drop or two passes? First year we did, we preloaded our nitrogen up front yep. and made one pass. And the second year, um, we decided let's split it up and that's when it became really cumbersome to try to do it to get all that done yep 
and but agronomically it made the best the most sense yes so we did it again last year and I, I wanted to convince myself I don't want I just want to make one pass yeah but my, our agronomist no you choose the best yeah so that's why it has well, if we get the toolbar, that'll make that bit, that'll make that easier. Correct. So, correct. And it has. Awesome. That's what we're doing today up here in Fort Wayne, Brian. If you got anything else to add, now's the time. Otherwise, we're gonna keep wide dropping. No, we're happy with the product. Thank you much. Awesome. Thanks for tuning in, guys.